If you are going to use fireworks, there are three things you should remember. One, have a clear area by about 30 feet by 30 feet free of combustibles. Number two, make sure you have a bucket of water so you can submerge any of the used fireworks in it so they aren't hot and could potentially cause a fire later on. And lastly, never approach a firework that hasn't exploded or gone off at this point. We want to make sure you never relight a firework. They burn it somewhere in the area of 2,000 degrees. Uh, those sparklers that we just love to play with as kids and we like to let our kids run around, they can be very dangerous. They can start fires in your yard. They can start small grass fires, which will grow to larger brush fires that could, in fact, get to your house. So um, besides that, they do burn super, super hot, but it'll burn little hands and skin. So we need to be very careful around our fireworks. They are clearly not toys. Fireworks are broken into two categories as far as we are concerned. They're novelties, which have come with the poppers, things we're all very familiar with. And then we have the consumer fireworks, which are the ones that we light and you see them. They have a fountain that blows up from the ground. Um, consumer fireworks are defined as a firework that does not leave the ground and or explode. We do live in the desert. I think today is supposed to be 105, 106, with uh, Friday expected to be about 115 degrees. So everything's ready to burn right now, and so we need to be extra cautious when we're using our fireworks here in the valley.